every day. New at 6, a Los Angeles County Sheriff's deputy faces two felony charges, perjury, and filing a false arrest report. And tonight, we have the video that blew this case wide open. NBC4's Kathy Varr is live in the newsroom with more. Kathy? Chuck, the two felony charges stem from the arrest of a man who says he was falsely accused of trying to free someone who was in custody in a patrol car. Not only does he claim he was wrongfully accused, he says the arresting officer caused him bodily harm and the charges ruined his life. These aren't inaccuracies. These are just outright lies. It began with a traffic stop in August 2012, caught on video by several bystanders. On the left is Chris Gray watching the arrest, his arms folded. One of the deputies came to him and told him that uh, he had to get up on the sidewalk. When Gray refused, he was handcuffed and walked to a patrol car. His arms were pushed up so far behind his head from the bottom that you could see his fingers. Gray's attorney, Olu Orange, says the arrest cost his client a job and caused serious injuries that required shoulder surgery. But it's what was written in the report that brought felony charges against Deputy Gregory Rodriguez. How is it possible for someone who holds the public trust, who swore an oath to serve and protect, to write down such lies? In the arrest report obtained by NBC4, Deputy Rodriguez says in part, I saw Gray walk backwards towards the rear passenger door of the patrol car where the two suspects were seated. The video show Gray never approached the patrol car. Still, Gray was charged with a felony. That was not by mistake. It was done on purpose. Roger Clark, a police procedures consultant and a former L.A. County Sheriff's Lieutenant, says it is clear in the video that the deputies did not like Gray watching their activities, but falsifying a report is a crime. This should have been caught early, early on. The criminal charges against Gray were dropped, and the county agreed to pay $550,000 to Gray in a civil suit. The sheriff's department issued this statement in part. The sheriff is aware of the case and does not tolerate any conduct which violates or erodes the public trust. Deputy Rodriguez has been suspended without pay and will be arraigned June 18th. If convicted, he faces a possible maximum sentence of four years and eight months in jail. Live in the newsroom, I'm Kathy Vara, NBC4 News.